I got a call from my agent, and they said, uh, well, actually, what happened was I was on my way to Germany, and I was uh, uh, going to play some music in this commune. This is back when communes were around, right? So I was doing that, and uh, I got a call from my agent. I'd sub up my apartment and everything like that, and I said, listen, do you know about this show called Dark Shadows? And I said, yeah, it's that gothic thing that ABC's doing. And uh, they said, well, uh, uh, Linda Otto's casting it, and I, of course, knew Linda from Broadway. And they want you to go up there and meet Dan Curtis and, and these people. And I said, well, you know, I'm leaving for Germany. He said, just go read for it and see what you... So I got up there into his office, and I took the script, and I read the part, and I immediately said, oh, this is going to be fun. I mean, this is, this is lots of possibilities here, off-the-cuff cynicism. You know? So... Um, I, I, you know, up until that moment, I didn't really want to do it. I had, you know, plans to go off and, and, and play some music. So um, I walked into the office, and we sat there and talked. Dan, of course, had his feet up on the desk, <laughs> twirling his hair. And um, I read it, and he said, that's sensational. And the next thing I know, I got a call saying, cancel your trip to Europe, you're going to work. So I uh, started. I had a scene with Johnny Carlin, I had a scene with um, Jerry Lacey, and it was one of those uh, conspiratorial scenes, and from the moment we started rehearsing it in the morning, we, we started laughing, and we couldn't, I mean, Jerry Lacey with that bogey face and Carlin, and we we're all supposed to be dead serious. And you know how it's like laughing in church, you know, you just, the more they get mad at you, and all day long, we just, and got into Finally, we ended up shooting the scene with Jerry talking off to the side, Carlin looking out that way, and me looking the opposite direction just to get through it. And uh, you talk to Carlin, and he'll, he'll remember that one. When I first came on the show, I was sitting in the green room, and I was watching them shoot the air, I mean, the air show was playing, and I'm sitting there watching, trying to get some idea of what the story was about. And as I'm standing there, all of a sudden I see the bell housing of the ABC, you know, that covers the lens, just go right, right, right across the screen. And I thought, my God, what have they done? What have I got myself into? But, um, yeah, there was no, there was no uh, margin for mistake. I mean, if it happened, it just happened. And the other classic is when Colin Wood had to be destroyed and then on the other side of the sound stage, all these like 12 wrestlers rose from the dead. I don't know if you remember this show in particular, but the cue was given at the wrong time. And Colin Wynn collapsed, and these 12 wrestlers came up out of the thing, and the whole show was shot. And so they had to shoot Colin Wood already. I mean, it was just a total disaster. And you couldn't go back to, you know, redo that. So that was uh, sink or swim, you know. I think one of the things that always Im impressed me was Selby's um, his professionalism. I think David was really somebody that I really enjoyed working with. I liked being his nemesis, and we had a great deal of fun together. Um, I think Carlin uh, is just you know he, they're just tapping the sources of his ability now, and I think uh, that he was you could see it back then that there was an enormous amount to be given. Uh, Kate Jackson was just beautiful, you know, and just beautiful. I mean, she was lovely. And uh, I, I enjoyed working with Kate, even though she knocked me out. But, you know, <laughs> that was the all-time thing. Uh, Joan Bennett, uh, just uh, working with somebody of that stature and just coming into the studio and, and having scenes to work with her and stuff of that sort. And, and it was just the height of professionalism. And you never really got the, the impression that she was who she was, you know. She was uh, quite down to earth and really a, a quite a wonderful woman to, to work with and to know. Technical, you know, uh, quality of Dark Shadows was really ahead of its time. Uh, in fact, when we had our, our conference, the reunion, a couple of years back, I remember watching scenes that I had done. And uh, some of the things is transposing the head in the box and talking and all of those things that are, you know, are taken for granted now. But back then it was quite an innovative uh, way of doing things. And, uh, you know, you don't see that a lot on, on soaps today. 
you don't see that kind of. Uh, but of course, then there are not many shows like Dark Shadows. You know? The fondest memory uh, I have is um, actually shooting the film, shooting the film, working on the show, and then taking the time off to go up into Lyndhurst and be with those people in a different surrounding and put together a movie. Uh, that was really that I really enjoyed that a lot. Um, that was that was a lot of fun, and I think also the closing party was pretty nice too. That was that was a quite a gathering of people. The thing that grabbed me about the part is that he is the essence of evil. Gerard Stiles was the you know he I mean he married his he murdered his best friend married his wife and seduced her and then you know took over the the family fortune you know and then backpedaled when his friend turns out that he wasn't really dead um that's the thing that grabbed me about it uh i like playing those kind of characters and those dark kind of characters you know because i think there's a lot of that kind of attitude in everybody and it's nice to be able to get that out and in, in Correlation the same with the Bill Spencer character on Bold and the Beautiful, although it's much more contemporary. There is that element of danger and you know what's he going to do and who is this guy, and um, I, I like that so much more than just being you know a doctor running around saying you're going to be fine or you're going to be dead or whatever. You know, so there's a lot more character development with it.